Today, I'm going to talking about I'm going to talk about multicolor chest X-ray-like technology with an atomic scale resolution. And unlike most of the audience here, I usually do experiments at a large research facility, as shown in this slide. This facility is called Synchrotron Radiation Facility, Spring 8. It has many X-ray microscopes, and my research got started with a crucial component used for such X-ray microscopes. Imagine you are at the hospital with a black and white X-ray images in front of you, as shown in the top figure. Have they ever made you wonder why everyday X-ray images are blurry? In the bottom figure, X-rays come from the left side and go through small objects inside the body. X-ray shadows become overlap and spread, and then blurry at the detector. Now, probably you've done an experiment where the sunlight is focused with a magnifying lens. Similarly, um, X-rays can be focused using X-ray lenses. By scanning the sample around the focus, um, we can, um, small objects can be resolved, and we can map the hand I'll show in the top right figure. Top right figure. Also, just as light focused with a magnifying lens can induce a flame at a small spot on the paper, X-ray focusing can enhance signals from samples. And as shown in the right figure, by detecting such signals, um, a previous research investigated the distribution of the copper and the iron inside the cells that were affected by Alzheimer's disease. So X-rays can see through metal inside the samples. However, cell structures are almost invisible because cells are composed of light elements. Now, have you ever thought of multicolor X-ray images? Colors in the visible light regime correspond to X-ray photon energy. Let's say we do use two color X-rays. We can make one X-ray image sensitive to light elements in, um, on the surface of the hand. The other can be used to detect metal, in, metal such as calcium in bones. Multicolor X-ray images allow us to simultaneously observe something difficult to see using unicolor X-rays. However, X-ray lenses are unfortunately incompatible with multicolor X-rays because their focus position depends on X-ray colors. In contrast, X-ray focusing mirror can focus multicolor X-rays into the same spot Focus multicolor X-rays can enhance signals from the samples whose information can be combined with the transmitted X-rays. So multicolor multimodal X-ray analysis require X-ray focusing mirror, but the problem is it's really challenging to fabricate such X-ray mirrors, especially for soft X-rays, which are suitable for light element detection. So um, the fabrication challenges stem from a trade-off relationship between fabrication quality and focus size. So look at the left figure, and the conventional X-ray mirrors are rather flat with a radius of curvature of 10 meters. By polishing, by polishing the surface of the substrate, the target shape for the mirror can be precisely fabricated. But um, as shown in the right figures, Small focus size require X-ray mirrors to have a steep shape, I mean highly curved shape, which are challenging to fabricate. Previous research have extended polishing technology to produce tube-like mirrors. Um, however, their poor fabrication quality ends up limiting the achievable focus size, like this way. Now, my novel X-ray mirror, the ultra-compact X-ray mirror, adopted different strategies the focal length of a tomb-like mirror was 100 millimeters or more. By shortening the focal, focal length, I designed a very compact mirror that can tolerate the fabrication errors. Also, instead of polishing the substrate, like subtraction, I used an additive technique to achieve very steep and smooth surface. So a uh, substrate with, with circular profile can be easily fabricated. So by depositing a metal layer on such a substrate with a different, with a varied um, thickness profile, I uh, made, um, the, I transformed the surface of the substrate into the target shape. 
and the left image shows a pair of the ultra compact mirror. X rays bounce on the mirror surface in the direction of the arrows. Um, you can find a ruler at the bottom of the image, and these mirrors are as small as the nails of little fingers. In the right figures, these mirrors are crossed at the downstream side of a soft X-ray source, and the sample chip is located around the focus position. To analyze transmitted and also emitted X-rays, two detectors were installed. The ultra-compact mirror focused by color X-rays as shown in the left figure. Um, X-rays with photon energies of one and two kilo electron volt were focused into the same spot to produce and excite X-ray fluorescence from um, light elements and metal, respectively. A primary hippocampal neuron from an um, immature um, rat brain uh, were cultured on the sample chip. And the image, is, the image is shown at the center. In the right figures, the total X-ray absorption image clearly shows the sample structure. X-ray fluorescence, fluorescence images shows the distribution of elements and the carbon, nitrogen, oxygen um, were found because of proteins. Um, iron, copper, zinc were also found. And the multicolor X-ray images um, can capture the sample structure together with the amount of both light elements and the metal. To investigate the relationship between neuronal structure and the elementary distribution, I took a close-up image at the white box in the left image. This structure, which is hard really to see, um, is possibly used to be in a spine, which is crucial to neuronal function, neuronal network. So I uh, X-ray absorption image and X-ray fluorescence data were taken with a scanning pitch of 100 nanometers. Iron and copper were localized around the bump area in contrast to zinc. But it's not clear whether the amount of elements increases due to the high concentration or just because of the large sample thickness. So here's where a multimodal analysis comes in. By combining X-ray absorption and fluorescence data, the sample thickness can be reconstructed with my algorithm. So um, the, the amount of elements were divided by the reconstructed thickness as to perform concentration analysis as shown at the bottom figures. The magenta area shows an area with high concentration of iron and the copper. And the, so these results suggest a correlation between ion and copper distribution and the spine loss. Only the proposed method can comprehensively reveal the amount and the concentration of both metal and the light elements together with the thickness distribution with this high resolution. So let me wrap up my presentation. X-ray focusing is crucial to high uh, signal intensity and high spatial resolution. Multicolor X-rays um, requires X-ray focusing mirror and that's why I precisely fabricated the ultra-compact mirror and also achieved multimodal and multicolor X-ray analysis. And for future applications, this technique can track smaller particles inside the medicine and to, uh, to understand the location, their location inside the cells. This information will help understand the efficacy and the cause of side effects of drugs. Also, this technique can be used to um, detect physical phenomena like a skirmian or a, um, new transistor behaviors. So next time you see an X-ray image, remember my multicolor and multimodal X-ray analysis. Thank you so much.